it is certainly an unusual honor and a distinction that a college bearing my name should be added to the ancient and renowned foundations which together form the University of Cambridge. It's a modern college, it's got a modern mission, and we do our own thing. Actually having a questioning attitude, breaking the flow, constantly examining things and finding them out for yourself. Find your own voice rather than speaking someone else's. I think what church has given me is a confidence to approach tasks that normally you might be put off doing because they're not a very conventional thing to do or they're not the kind of thing that's been done before. We were one of the early colleges to go co-educational. It's been a great success having young men and young women in the college. Now everybody accepts and people find it puzzling that it was such a struggle, but it was. I had a sort of um, part-time degree which was not heard of and it wasn't from a famous university, but I never felt that I wasn't equally valued in the college. I think we were really more celebrated for our difference rather than looked down upon for having perhaps a lower educational background to some of the other more high-flying students. It caused very sharp debate to have a quota of scientists and a quota of humanists. First Cambridge College or Oxbridge College to have this. You know, not putting art in one box and science in another box, but actually stressing the interconnections between the two. You do need leaders, and I think this is where Churchill does come in. It has science leaders historically since its birth, and that's why it was formed. It was to celebrate and to advance science, and that means not just at the time, but to pr propagate this into the future. The really exciting thing is that you're with them now, and the people you have lunch with every day may go on to have Nobel Prizes, and it just inspires you really to, to keep on going and push to succeed. Churchill really has played a key role of uh, releasing some uh, new technologies and enabling some big companies actually to come about. Applying things, thinking them out commercially, thinking them out industrially, relating to the business of life. It's something to do with crossing the line from thinking about things to actually finding applications of them. There were some very, very bad buildings to come out of the 60s, and Churchill is one of the best. There's always green, and there's always light, and there's uh, windows everywhere, and it's really quite a welcoming and uh, inviting place. You can walk through so much of it, and you can see through so much of it, and you can look across the, the lawns, the expanses of grass, and you can see into all the other courts and see through the whole building. You know, you do get the courtyards and the sense of a, of a, a, a campus within this building. So it, it's a, a traditional idea in a very modern treatment. They've taken a progressive stand to actually accommodate married students. Um, and so the space that we're in has gotten lots of memories for scholars before me, but also for me. It's full of international students, and then it has the focus that a lot of colleges don't on math and science students. So to come here, I would get to interact with all the people in all the different science fields um, that there are, doing all the most progressive things. Peer learning and learning from each other is, is much easier to do when there's a big group of you. A lot of my academic interactions between the sciences and engineering have taken place through conversations I've had in the common room at Churchill. There's a certain buzz about Churchill and you can tell the place is growing and there's always exciting things happening. Community 
is why I came to Churchill and community is why I think the new court is a kind of extension of that. It's, it's community for the next 50 years. As well as joining in the celebrations with us, we need the help of alumni and friends so that the college can continue to deliver Sir Winston's vision. We have to compete internationally. We have to provide the very best educational opportunities so that we attract and support the brightest students, future leaders, whatever career they pursue. Their needs are very clear. A new court at a cost of eight million pounds so that they can all benefit fully from the college experience. And four million pounds for direct academic support by way of bursaries, scholarships and fellowships. When Sir Winston launched the campaign for the founding of the college, he said, I ask you to contribute with enthusiasm and not with caution. And the generous response laid the foundation for the college's success. His request is something that can inspire all of us again today. The mighty oak from an acorn towers a tiny seed can fill a field with flowers. <laughs>